today we're going to talk about caping a deer to legally transport it after shooting it through CWD states. Today there's a lot of states that you cannot legally transport a deer unless it's caped completely off the head, skull cap removed. We're going to show you today quickly how to do it. I'm Joe, I own Northeast Taxidermy in Middletown, Connecticut. This is Jason. He's my prep guy. He's going to go through it with you. It's a lot easier than you think it is. Every time I try to explain to somebody how to do it, they can do it themselves. They get nervous, they feel like it's a big project, and it's not. Today we're going to show you how to take this off the head and make it real simple for you. Go ahead, Jason. We're going to start like this. We're going to cut across from one point to the other and do what we call a seven cut. Just like that. Across and down. Go ahead. Can you see here? We're just cutting from one antler butt to the other, straight across. We use a carpenter's knife here. That's what we recommend. It's the easiest and best way to do it. Always sharp. You can bring it with you on your hunting trip. Much easier than a knife. You're going to need that when you get around the eyes and you get around the nose. At this point here, he's made the cut. Now he's going to work his way around the horns. He's going to neatly try to cut around the horns. And this is when this carpenter's knife really comes in handy with the sharp edge there. And as soon as it gets dull, you just go ahead and put a new one in. And it'll allow him to get a nice, neat cut around these buttons. Here's where your ear cartilage starts. Just keep cutting. Any questions when you come to the ear cartilage, always cut into the bone. Stop for a second. Take this knife here. When you have any questions, here's the ear butt. Any questions, if you're unsure, just cut into the bone. That way you know you're going to be fine. There you go. Now he's coming around the other way. He's going to meet the other side. There you go, there's the ear butt there. He's past it now. You can see where it goes right into the skull. Again, you wanna go right into the skull. You don't wanna cut it out this way. Any question, just keep going into the skull. Now he's just about got it around the horn butt as well. Once he gets through the ear and the horn butt, smooth sailing after that. Going around the second horn butt now. He's going to do the same thing with this ear butt as he did with the other one. This way we, we can show it to you twice. Here you go. He's already got this one removed here. Now he's getting to the other one. See? Real tight to the skull. Just like the other side, he's going to come around here. Work it, staying close, and just work it little at a time, little at a time. Okay, there's the second ear. Very close. Cut it right off, and now he's going to work it right around there. Next step will be the eyes. Okay, we've got it skinned around the horns, we've got the skin past the ears, we're ready to just remove it off there and go to the eyes next. Again, cut straight across here, and he cut right down like a seven. A 
across and down, and then removed it around each horn butt and both ears. And it should go right back together just like that. You can literally put it right back and it looks just like that. Yep. And then you... Now he's going to just come past this area here and we're going to get ready to finish off the head. At this point here you can clearly see nothing, nothing here is hard. Very, very simple, nothing that anybody can't do. Normally at this point, we would just continue to go, take off the eyes, and come right off the nose. But I feel for, for the person who's never done this before, or, or someone who doesn't have a lot of experience, I'm going to show you a little trick that would make it easier for you. We're going to do around the mouth, jaw, and nose first before we take it off the head. This will make life a little easier for you and a little easier for you to understand. So before we go and take the eyes off, we're going to go ahead and... He's going to, what he's going to do is he's going to open this and he's going to cut around the lips while you can see it instead of pulling it off like a sock blindly. Cut it around here. He's going to cut it around there so when we come off the other way, it pulls right off. Go ahead. As tight as you possibly can into those lips. We need this lip area for the taxidermy mounting. We need this. So you're going to cut in right in tight right here. See where he's in there real tight. He doesn't have to go too far, just enough because we're able to look and see what we're doing here instead of blindly taking it off. He's gonna he's gonna pull this back. He's got it down here. This part of the lip we need for tucking. So you can see that we're gonna cut right here real tight right to it and he's going to flap this over and you, he's going to show you how he cuts the nose cartilage Cutting it close and tight to the bone. This is kind of the part where everybody panics on, but if you do it this way, while you can see it, it makes it very, very simple. And no chance of having any issues. Can't go much more than that. Okay. You see? Just got right in there, and he removed all. This is this is the hard part, but it's all done now. You don't have to worry about any of this nose cartilage or any of this meat or anything. You don't have to worry about that. This is the important part that we have this lip area in here. Okay? So at this point here, we're going to go back to finishing pulling it off the head. So when we get to the tricky part, it's already done. And we're not blindly doing it. We're, we're able to see what we're doing. Everything is skinned off here. He's going to now just go... Go right past where the eyes are. When we get to the eyes, that's the tricky point that everybody gets worried about. I'm going to show you how to do it. No sense of panic in. Very easy. Okay. You're going to start noticing here. You're going to start seeing the eye coming up to you. At this point here, when you get to there. Okay, he's coming to the eye now. Right here. You, when you get to this area here, if you've never done it before, you're going to get nervous. You're going to say, geez, I don't know where to cut. I don't want to ruin the eye. Whenever you don't know, just back it up and cut into the bone. Now, Jason knows right where to cut, but I, but I want you to show them. Just If you're unsure, just cut into the bone. There you go. Just keep cutting backwards into the bone. Once he gets the hole, he puts his finger right in there from the back. Now he can pull it up away, and the next little spot is the tear duct, and we'll show you how to get that. Again, just very unsure where to cut, cut into the bone. Takes a little more time, but you'll easily get it off. He's getting to the end of the eye now. Go ahead and cut. Cut real tight and close. Okay. 
Keep going. Now he's getting to the tear duct. When you get to this tear duct right here, the, the skin holds tight into that tear duct. It's very tricky. So just put your finger in the eye, pull on it so you can see, and cut right into that. He's, he's cutting right into the bone. Go ahead, cut right into the bone right there. Just keep pulling and cutting into the bone. Like I always say, when you're unsure, just keep cutting into the bone. He's almost past it now. Again, this is, this is not hard to do. A few little tricks, you'll have no problem at all. There you go. Okay, we're going to just finish the last eye over here and then pull the, the skin off the rest of the head. Again, like the last eye, he's cutting very close and very tight. Skin is here, but he's cutting back there oh, to make gosh, sure that um, he doesn't cut through. There you go. Start opening the eye. Hold on one second. Notice how the skin is here, but he's cutting back here. Again, cutting into the bone. Okay, now he's going to put his finger right in the hole so he can pull it. Now, again, second tear duct. Cut real tight to the tear duct. If you're unsure, cut into the bone. Okay, he's got both eyes done now. Normally, we'd get to the most important and hardest part. But we've already skinned it from the other side where we were able to see it. We've already done all that. So now when we come to pull it off the head, it's going to be as simple as this. Go ahead. Okay, now we're starting to come into the spot that we skinned earlier. And where it would normally be very difficult, there you go. Just pops right off. Okay, the cape is all set. Eyes are neat, they're clean. Tear ducts are removed. Nose, no cuts. The ears are perfect. The cape is all set. Next step is we're going to cut the skull cap off the skull. Once that's done, this cape will be ready to be shipped or prepared to travel on your person when you leave. Normally, you would cut this by hand with, with a hand saw, but seeing that we have a sawzall and I don't want to take up too much time, we're going to do it with a sawzall. Um, but the important thing is to cut it in the right spot. He's going to cut it across here and then across the side. Go ahead. It's as simple as that. If you don't have a sawzall, you can do it by hand. Cut it just right. You can go ahead and remove the brains right. They'll come right out. Just like that. Totally clean. Remove the existing meat there. You'll be all set. Correct. Okay, now what we have, if you go on a hunt out of state, you shoot a whitetail, mule deer, or whatever you have, what you're basically looking for is the smoothest, safest, most cost-effective way to transport your trophy. Also keeping in mind, now you're legal to transport through CWD states. Again, the cable is right. You can put it in a nice small spot like that. It doesn't take up a lot of room. Clean off, trim off the rest of the meat here, and your skull is legally ready to transport. You can put it in a nice little container. It's easy to handle. If you want to freeze the skin before you go, don't roll the skin. If you roll the skin, it generates heat like a bale of hay. Heat accelerates the growth of bacteria, causes the hair to slip. Bunch it up like this. Put the head on top. This way the head will freeze first and the head will thaw first because bacteria grows first and fastest in the muzzle area. Bunch it up like that. You can get a nice little tote, put it in there and freeze it, and then you can go ahead and put the antlers right in. I hope this video was beneficial to you. I tried to make it as short as I possibly could without leaving out the details. I designed this video for the novice as well as the experienced hunter. Now you are able to get your skins and horns across state lines and comply with the CWD regulations. Thank you.